we are told students harvested 60 carrots from the school garden. They placed the carrots evenly into four baskets. How many carrots were in each basket? Pause this video, have a go at that before we do this together. Okay, so we're going to have four baskets, and then you multiply that times the number of carrots in each basket, and that is going to give you the total number of carrots. That's going to be equal to 60. You could have also written this as 60, I could write it over here, 60 divided by four. If I were to div divide this evenly into four groups, what would that be equal to? So let's see if we could reason this out. So we know that four times 10 is equal to 40, but that doesn't get us all the way there. We need to get another 20. But we also know that four times five is going to be equal to 20. So if we add four times 10 plus four times five, that's the same thing as 40 plus 20. So that's going to be equal to 60. So I could write this as four times 10 plus four times five. Well, another way to think about this is, this is the same thing as four times 10 plus five. Because if we just use the distributive property, if we said four times 10, well, that's that part there. And then we have four times five, that is that part there. Four times 10 plus four times five. So four times 10 plus five is also equal to 60. And I think you see where this might be going. What is 10 plus five? 10 plus five is 15. So we just figured out that four times 15 is equal to 60. So if there's four baskets, and then each of those baskets have 15 carrots, let me do that same orange color, each of them have 15 carrots, then I'm going to get to 60. Or another way to think about it, 60 divided by four is 15. There's other ways you could have thought about it. If you took 60 divided by two, if you, you could say, oh, I could maybe do that in my head. Six divided by two is three, so 60 divided by two is 30, and then if I divide by two again, well, maybe I get to 15. So there's a lot of different ways to think about it.